All right, I'm out here at Old Penders Creek. Uh, was working on our deck post and beams, and I uh, thought it'd be a good time to show anybody how to use a rotary laser to uh, set the height of the post that you're using for your deck, or in my case, uh, the notches. Here's a beam I've already got in place. It's not bolted in yet, but in place to cut the notches, set the beam on. Uh, rotary laser, it is absolutely one of my favorite tools out here. Uh, I use it on our pond multiple things. Uh, this particular model is a RL-H5A made by Topcon. Uh, one thing, it, mine came with a uh, grade stick used for surveying and it breaks a foot up into tenths. So I went to Lowe's and got a Bosch uh, grade stick, a rod, whatever you want to call it, and uh, breaks it down in inches. All right, so today I just want to do a quick uh, rundown of how to use a laser uh, to do this. I will not lie. It just about stumped my brain and in the end it was it's really easy to do. Uh, so I'm going to turn the camera over to post. Actually I've already cut off the top but the notch is not cut and uh, demonstrate how to use a laser. Okay. Alright, we're ready to get this started. Uh, this is like take three and uh, I'm making it too complicated and I don't want it to be complicated because this is a how-to, let's make it easy. Alright, so we've got 15 posts to set up out here. We have a, a beam we want to mount on them in a notch. So we want the beam sitting in a notch and we got a finished height. My desired finished height is I want my deck 37 inches from this spot. So the first thing you need to know is what is your finished height, where do you want it 37 inches from? Ground, unless you've got it perfectly graded with a laser, uh, is not going to be flat. So you've got to determine where you want your deck height to be from. I said 37. I want this spot. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do is, like I said, the, the laser sitting over there just randomly put up at no particular height. And we have to, but we have to find that out first, okay? I'll call it calibrating the laser to the post, or excuse me, calibrating the laser to the finished deck height. So let's take our grade rod and go up till, set it on my spot. Got a little arrows here. Ugh, get it on, come on. Alright, that says 49 inches. So that laser beam is shooting out 49 inches above the spot that I want to be 37 inches for a finished deck height. So that's 12 inches difference. Remember that number, okay? Now at 37 inches, you got to start subtracting what's going to be between your finished height and your notch if you're doing a beam system like I am, where a beam sits in a notch, framing sits on top of it, and then decking on top of that. So I'm adding those numbers up. An inch and a half deck board, and yes, an inch and a half. I drove to Alabama to get them. Uh, a two by eight, which is really seven and a quarter. They're, they're not what they say they are. That You can look Google that. And a, and a two by ten, which is nine and a quarter. So nine and a quarter, seven and a quarter, an inch and a half is eighteen inches. All right. So we're going to add our twelve inch difference between our laser, where it's just randomly sitting it. I didn't pick it, and our finished deck height thirty seven inches. So we add them together. That's thirty inches, two foot six. We move our receiver down our guide rod to. 30 inches. Now you go to your post and you set it up beside it. And then you bring this down and that's telling me that come on down, come on down, come on down right there. Hear that solid noise? Make you a mark. Alright, that is where our notch is going to be that we're going to cut out for our beams to sit. So from that spot, 18 inches up will be 37 inches, guaranteed, right on the money. One post is done. Now we got it set, we're done. Go to the next post. 
Mark it. All right, go on to the next post. You got 15 of them. All right, now we made 15 marks on 15 posts that are laser level. Our beams will sit on them, frame it on top, deck it on top, guaranteed to be what you asked for. In my case, 37 inches above this spot. All right, the last piece of this puzzle is I want uh, to cut this post off, which I've actually already cut this one off. I want to cut it off nine inches above the notch because my two by 10 that sits in this notch is nine and a quarter and I want my post just, just a shade below my beam so it doesn't interfere with anything that I'm doing. All you got to do is go down nine inches. Okay. All right, if this post was still up like it was, I'd do the same thing, mark it, and that's where I'd cut it off. So I hope that wasn't too confusing. Watch it again. It's really easy to do, uh, but if you try to figure this out like I did without a little help, uh, <laughs> I sat over here on a pile of wood for about 45 minutes going, what? But in the end, it was easy because I was trying to come in from the top my 30 inches from the top down when in fact I should have been coming from the bottom up. So that is how to use a rotary laser to determine post height uh, and or where to cut uh, some notches for some beams off. Got any questions or comments, put them down below. Make sure you subscribe, like our videos. Uh, hopefully you like them. We're going to try to build this channel up over time, get better over time, and eventually have a website called Penders Creek Farms where we sell a few things. All right, peace out.